Hi, Brooke. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. And you? Very, very well. I got to tell you, I'm very proud of you because I thought I was the weird kid who was 10 years old in Billings, Montana, that was the only one that was in love with Mother Nature and this planet. And to read about you and to see what you're doing, it just, we can do this, Brooke. We, we can get everybody that, that's in your age group and my age group to really start taking better care of this planet. Yes, we really can, and that's the main aim of my TV show. Where does it begin? Because, you know, some people think that they're doing good just by recycling things. I mean, I realize that's a start, but, but I, I planted 1,700 trees in this forest that I'm presently sitting in right now. It, we, we've got to start giving back to nature. Yes, we really do. So it all kind of started um, when I was three years old. And my dad used to take me on a lot of his adventures. And ever since I was three, I'm just like, wow, this is such a cool job. I really want to do this for the wildlife. And then to put it on television, on EarthX TV. My God, that's reaching out to the planet, Brooke. Yes, sir. What are you learning at your age about this planet? Because I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you, okay? I'm really worried about the effects of what's going on in other countries and how it's going to interfere with other people's atmospheres, wars and things like that. What what are you feeling and what are you researching? Um, I'm pretty much learning about what conservation means and what it is to be a conservationist. In every episode of mine, I meet an expert on that kind of animal that I'm doing an episode on. And always, I leave that episode knowing more than I came in with. When you meet up with these conservationists, they, they, they bring their, their education. They bring their experiences. Do you find yourself being a student or a teacher? Because, I mean, you're in a place. Having that TV show, I mean, you're in a place of being that teacher, Brooke. I definitely see myself as a student, um, but it's, it's amazing to be able to meet all these amazing conservationists. Don't you love the passion that they have? I love the way that they will sit there and look at a simple stream or a simple animal. I, like, I will not kill a spider. I will not kill a, a poisonous snake. I believe they have a purpose and a plan on this planet. Yeah, even one person could study only one, study only one animal for their entire lives. Yeah. Imagine everything you know about that one animal. What is your animal? My animal is, is, is a wolf. What, what, what animal do you study? My favorite animal is a nudibranch. Um, it's basically like a sea snail with no shell. They're absolutely beautiful. And you only find them in the most clean and amazing um, and healthy ecosystems and reefs. See, now that scares me because, I mean, as much as we are cleaning things up around this planet, especially here in the Carolinas with our rivers, it, it, you know, it's like how long does it take for something such as your favorite animal to, to, you know, to kind of root, to, to grow beyond where, where it once was? Um, the scary thing is that most people don't even know what it, that it exists. Yeah. And it's really sad because when they ask me what's my favorite animal, I tell them a nudibranch and they don't even know what it is. Is, it, is that kind of weird for you? Because, I mean, I, 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 that, I'll sit there and I'll, I'll, I'll go to Google right away or I'll go to my animal book. I keep animal books with me at all times on my Kindle. My whole bedroom is like a zoo. You can go in there and leave with, um, with books and stuffed toys. And I've even got shark eggs in my room. My whole room is like a whole... <laughs> Zoo or museum. Oh, my God. You and I, because if you walked into this studio right now, I have turtle shells. I have I have so many things because I believe the animals want to be seen in, in the after, you know, the afterlife, the transition, because we can still carry their stories forward. Yeah, I wish I wish you could see me and I could see you. <laughs> but but see, you and I, we, we, we are we are trained and we are born to help preserve what is going on with this planet. I love the fact that you're part of a television show. How do you prepare for going on to Earth X T V? Um, well, I really want to carry on with it as long as I possibly can. Um but my main thing that I really want to do when I'm older is a helicopter pilot. I've had that dream ever since I was about four or five. 
And every time I get in a helicopter, I'm just like, wow, that could be a really, really cool job. And yet, Brooke, I, when you said helicopter pilot, I thought, no, she's going to the moon. She's going to be one of those people that's going to go to the moon because this way you can see the entire planet and not just a section of a planet from a helicopter. Yeah, I want to be the one to fly the vet around <laughs> um, and help make sure that he's in the perfect position to dart. And to me, that just sounds amazing. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's a huge thunderstorm that's taking place where I am. And I, I think that's so beautiful that you and I, who love nature so much, and nature outside this window is is feeding the soil and all the animals. I mean, th- th- this moment is just so perfect right now. I love thunderstorms. Normally, um, when I was younger, I used to not like them at all. But now, if there's a thunderstorm outside my window, they actually bring life, and I just open my curtains and I just watch and it makes me fall asleep. It's so beautiful. Brooke, do you write things down? I'm, I'm a daily writer. I take a lot of notes. Do you find yourself taking notes as well? Because what you're learning at your age is something that the future def- definitely needs. Yes. Yeah, so um, I have a diary yeah. and my dad never lets me leave home to one of my adventures without my diary. And every night before bed, I get at least 10 minutes to write down about my whole day in my diary. Because, I mean, that would be a pretty cool thing. I write down my age and the date, and then I do what episode I did. And, I mean, if when I'm older, it's going to be pretty cool to look back and see what I did. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I always call it speaking to the future self because because what you what you experience in your moment of now really is a tool for later on because we, we pick things up. It's like breadcrumbs. And I've also got the opportunity to inspire kids with my diary and my writing. Yeah, absolutely. Now, where can uh, everybody? I, I don't want to. I don't want to say just children. Where Where can everybody can you know to get, reach out there and find out more about you? Because th- this is just the beginning for you. You You are going to become so huge in our everyday lives. You can catch episodes of my show on EarthX TV. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time or 7 p.m. at Central Time. You can also watch me on Torture Spectrum, Direct TV, and Fubo TV. Does it, does it feel pretty cool to be able to do this? Because, I mean, so many people at 11 years old, they're stuck playing video games or, or they're sitting in their rooms going, I don't know what to do, but then we have you, Brooke. <laughs> We're not really allowed screens in our house unless it's a weekend and early morning. So oh. me and my brother can wake up as early as we want. And we can have some screen time, but after breakfast, we're not allowed anymore. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. I'm so proud of you. I love where your heart is. You've got to come back to this show any time in the future, Brooke. The door is always going to be open for you. I'd love, love, love to meet you in person one day. Well, you got to come to my forest. you got, you got to see what I've done since 1997, Brooke. I really think you would enjoy the peace and the tranquility that's in there. Thank you. And don't forget, anyone can be a conservationist. I can change the world, and so can you. Ah, I love your heart. Thank you so much.